Hello my beautiful Taurus, welcome to my channel. This is your favorite fortune teller, Divine Light. Today I'm going to do a coffee cup reading for the next three months, which are going to be April, May, and June. These are going to be, this reading is going to be a general reading, so take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for the others. And if you're enjoying these videos, don't forget to give them a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Alright, let's get into your reading right away. Let's see what's coming for you in the following three months. Okay. Um, I see that in your heart there's... Uh, actually, you're going to have like um, in within the second month, which will be like May, towards the end of the month, there's a breakthrough. Somebody's showing in the bottom of the cup. Okay, there's a, a silhouette of a person. So this might be someone actually coming towards you or someone you're manifesting, maybe someone specific that you want to appear in your life. They're not 100% clear, but um, they're showing. So uh, they're probably going to appear in your life uh, in um, towards the end of the May, maybe the third week of the May or something like that. Let's see what's happening within the first month. Okay, I see, I'm going to start with the general stuff first. I see like a gathering here, a lot of people coming together, a crowd right there, and there's an eye. So these people might be um, someone, some like um, a crowd that you're a part of or a crowd that you are watching because the eye appears here. And this is a watching eye. So... Maybe you're watching these people, you want to be a part of this community. Maybe this is a company that you applied for that you have been researching for a lot of for a while. And uh, you're gonna become a part of it. And there's like um a little helmet, like um, you know, uh appearing here. This is like uh, one of the warrior helmets within like uh, the second week of the month, and there's a path opening through it. So um this helmet is kind of like a protection for you. Maybe you're going to go through a situation that you're going to be protected and covered. Or maybe also like hats, I interpret them in a way that's like a, doing like a classic profession. Or if you're looking for a job, because this is how I feel like uh, you're in search of like a um, high position. Within the this first uh, couple of weeks of this the uh, first month you're gonna actually manifest this position this high position that you're gonna be in power authority and um, you're gonna be doing one of these traditional jobs maybe um, or maybe untraditional but you're gonna have some sort of like authority um, sprung out some sort of an authority is gonna come out and I also see a snake here I interpret snake in a, um, a way that represents health so um, if you're going through like a health issue, you might get kind of a solution with that. Or maybe if you're in the medicine field, this might be like uh, you getting a recognition for the work that you're doing. Also inside this helmet, when I look at it, I see a couple kissing. So if you're manifesting love, that's also showing here. Or if you have someone in your life uh, that um, you're not really very close, I see you guys are coming together and getting very close. Um, in the middle of the month and uh, towards the end of the month there's a path opening for you and there's a beautiful crowd waiting for you maybe you're going to travel towards your family members or they're going to come towards you uh, you're going to come together with um, a beautiful crowd that you're going to be celebrating there's also a fish right there I'm going to show it you see there's a fish right down there so fish, this fish might be an indication of you receiving some sort of like a cash. Maybe when you start this job, after a while, they're going to give you like some sort of maybe like um, advance or something like that. Uh, this is also showing here. Okay, now moving forward to your second month. I see a strange um, shape here. This might look like a person. There's a head on top of it. And there are a couple birds. Um, so this might be someone has broad shoulders. You might receive some news from this person. One, two, three different messages. And I see like communication lines, but they're not really connecting. So there might be someone in your life that uh, you are actually like the communication is not going through. 
straight. Um, maybe um, you get in touch and then you fall apart. Somebody like that is actually going to appear and towards the third month the connection gets strength like stronger so maybe this is like a person that you are actually connecting i see like a figure here a person's face and um, they are actually not really in the focus and they the person has like angel wings or something like this might be like a person that you get along well or have a really um you know you received love from might be somebody like that and um and this is telling me you're not probably in connection with this person all the time but they are actually showing up here maybe you're gonna connect with them somehow and this person is actually on top of this fish so they might receive some sort of like a good wealth uh, and you might hear about it or maybe you're gonna connect with them about it I also see here somebody riding a horse. So this might be you. Like you see they are on top of this hill and they're riding their horse. And this actually reminds me of the Fool card uh, from Tarot, which is actually sign of Libra. Uh, it has some air to it. This might be this Libra um, in your life. Or if you have it on your chart, this might be you. Or maybe just a full card meaning the new beginning. This is you having a new beginning in your life and it's showing up here. I'm trying to find the card so I can show it to you and I can show you what I mean. Libra has an air to it, okay? Because of the sign of they are an earth uh, air sign. But you're an earth sign, you're very stagnant, you don't really uh, resonate with this a lot of the time. But you guys have something in common. You're both Venus. Um, so uh, your planet is both Venus and I see here a white rose and this person is just taking a leap of faith stepping uh, to the void so maybe you're gonna have a moment in your life uh, you're gonna be stepping into unknown which is actually showing here but you're riding a horse this means that this unknown is actually your wish you desire this and within the second month you're gonna have this moment like stepping off the um, hill um, to cliff and take a leap of faith which there are two different people waiting for you under this hill this might be like people that you're going to be working with maybe you're going to start up a new company you have a new idea maybe if you're in a music band you're going to try something new with these people and this is going to be like a new thing for you which will strengthen the communication right here so this might this communication might be with like managers and stuff like that too or uh, like the companies you guys are gonna take a leap of faith you're gonna take a new step in the second month I see here a male figure with a crown so this might be you wearing this crown getting the authority you deserve towards the end of the second month or it might be someone who has lots of authority that you're gonna be connecting with I also see here there's an eye but also this reminds me of um, bow and arrow and a person is writing um, um, horse also but this person might be like a Sagittarius or you might have it on your chart or simply this might be like because Sagittarius like the one series in the tarot represent fire so you're gonna have some sort of a fire uh, coming out of you and maybe you have it on your chart or even if you don't the fire is going to take you over and you're going to start moving and you're going to keep start doing things in the beginning of the third month the things are going to start rolling going to get in your horse you're going to take your bow and arrow and you're going to start moving but there is a ghost i see right here on top of you your head and maybe there is something in the past that you got stuck maybe you were doing things and you were getting rejected and that's why you don't feel like doing things in a certain way um, but this is telling me that you're gonna get over it even you're gonna do it afraid like whatever this is like you're gonna take a leap of faith you're gonna keep moving forward towards your goals and dreams um, actually this is how I feel like moving forward here I also see a hills right here there are hills and there's this guy carrying a big bag on his back okay so this also reminds me of i'm gonna show you i just keep giving uh tarot references but you know i i don't only interpret in a way 
that I see the symbols, I just merge different meanings that I know because it just comes to me. Okay, this is reminding me the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands is actually sometimes like they interpret Ten of Wands as like you having too much weight on your shoulders, you carrying all of these wands, you like you're feeling a little tired. But eventually, I want to show you how uh, I interpret this. In this Ten of Wands, he has his castle, he has his house, his garden. He's carrying these wands to his house. So he is this. He has a lot of weight on his shoulders, but eventually he's going to reach to uh, wherever he wants to go, wherever he wants to be, and then this is a place he feels happy. So you're actually putting, like, taking all this weight in the middle of this um, third month, uh, in the beginning of the third month, in the second week, probably, and uh, you're going to move towards, like, maybe past mountains and do something, and which is going to actually bring you higher success, which is going to, at first you might feel tired about it, might be a little bit drained, but eventually you're going to reach to your castle. You're going to get this awards, reap the awards out of this, whatever this uh, thing that you're doing and um, moving forward I see a lady dancing here looks like ice skating to me it might be related to like Canada if you're from Canada uh, watching or maybe like an ice country um, you might have uh, like an enjoy you might enjoy this ice uh, things like do something ice related maybe snow related it just comes to me i said canada but you might be from switzerland or any country that has snow um and i see two people on your back and these they're having a conversation they're probably conversating about you and this looks like a silhouette <clears throat> of a child uh, playing flute okay and okay who plays the flute uh, i think eros the um symbol of those little cupids cupids they have little flutes so uh this might be something new and i saw the bow and arrow in the beginning too so you might get like new love that you might actually find like a compatible soulmate type of relationship or maybe very passionate relationship you can just begin uh this thing like very fast in the middle of the third month i also see here a very weird shape this looks like a lantern on one end and uh, another end this looks like a flying saucer like um lantern i'm gonna interpret it in a way if you're in a situation that you need guidance and everything is getting dark and you need guidance in a situation something is gonna happen and everything is going to lighten up because i see you like a lot of light appearing surrounding you and right after that um if we say this is a uh, right after that i see like a um aries ahead of um like an aries here or maybe this is taurus this is you uh, so you're gonna have some sort of like a power moment you're gonna gather up your power and start accomplishing things and this will bring you a big fish here i also see like a little r as in ronald c as in cindy so these might be uh, people that you're going to be connecting to make things happen but this also looks like to me now i'm seeing like uh, those lifts that carry you up to the mountain tops. So, like, I feel like whoever this resonates that is gonna go have like a ski trip or something like that is showing here to me. All right, guys, I'm gonna get into your plate now. Let's see what's coming for you. If you have a question, a desire, an intention, just hold it in your mind and let's see what the answer is going to be for that one. I see a big crescent moon showing here. So if you have anything going on with government, you might get that um, very, like within the second month. Um, also, there's a big fish, like a whale. Like your desire have some time, but it's going to come to you very, like after you plant the seed, the things are gonna start to fall into place. Like you need to take some sort of an action. You need to do something in order to receive. Um, I see here somebody showing up here. Um, he looks like a star. So this might be a person that you're manifesting. This might be a partner that you're manifesting or maybe a friend. Um, he or she, I just, I say masculine person, very active probably. It takes action all the time. And I also see, like I said, there's the crescent moon. 
And this is actually looking like a whale as well. So in the second month, you might receive some sort of a source of income or maybe a gift or money or financial support. I also see here somebody's opening up this lady here with a big hat and she has flowers in her hand. So you might have this nurturing, self-nurturing moment within the first month or somebody might come into your life and give you this nurturing and show you how to nurture yourself. And... Um, Within the third month, I see so many people coming together and there's a gathering, maybe a family gathering, because this is inside your heart, inside your house, and you might be a part of it. Uh, this might be like a wedding celebration or something like that. And there's a shark showing up here. This is outside. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is outside of your like a natural environment, this shark. Um, this might be someone very wealthy within the third, the beginning of the third month. They might come into your life and they might invest in your ideas and opinions and the things you want to accomplish. And right after that, you're getting into this family gathering or something like um, maybe like a party or a wedding or something like that. And in the middle of the third month, through this wedding, you're going to be receiving some sort of financial gift. And this is also showing up here. All right, guys, that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed this reading. If you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Have a magical day. Bye.